Okay, now this uh, concept that uh, we're going to address here, um, this is identity. This is identification. Um, this is central, this is foundational, this is core to uh, everything in access control. Um, everything revolves around identity and identification. Um, now, uh, we often pair or, or relate uh, identity and identification with uh, authentication, uh, and we will talk about this, uh, authorization and accountability. And um, this is uh, this is important, um, and so you'll you'll very often see references uh, or in um, uh, not necessarily in the literature, but certainly in training materials. That, you know, they'll they'll talk about the I AAA, and and the the point being there is that everything. Uh, it, you know, authentication relates to identity. You authenticate an actual identity. Um, that uh, authorization is based on an identity. You authorize an identity. Um, that accountability is uh, uh, based on, uh, is, is related to, is, is recorded by uh, the identity. We hold people accountable as, uh, you know, in, in terms of their identification, in terms of their identity on the system. Uh, all of these things relate to the identity. And so uh, I, you know, uh, would rather than writing it out, you know, I, A, 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 uh, have the I in the middle there and, and circled by these three A's. So to to show, to demonstrate, um, to keep in mind all the time that identification and identity is absolutely central um, to uh, this, this core principle and to access control itself. Um, now, it is an important uh, area, it's an important concept, um, it's important, uh, an important relationship, um, and it is crucial, but <laughs> there's not an awful lot necessarily to say about it. So, you know, I'm, in, in a sense, I'm only going to be talking about identity and identification here in, in one clip, and that may seem, you know, that I'm not giving it enough time, but I'm, you know, really, once you once you said that, what can you say? Um, now, uh, we are going to uh, speak uh, a little bit more, um, uh, particularly about identity management and, and certainly about uh, different areas in terms of authentication, uh, authorization, and accountability. Um, you know, we, so uh, it's, it's not that we are completely le leaving the topic here, but, um, you know, this, the centrality of identity and identification uh, is only the subject of, of this one clip. Um, however, having done that, we don't necessarily want to waste the time here. When we're dealing with identification, you know, what type uh, do we have? Frequently, it's uh, the username. Uh, now, it may be a, an account name, it may be an account number, something like that, but, but by and large, you know, this is the, the username that we're talking about. We may have a PIN. Uh, we may have a physical badge, and we'll talk more about that in terms of tokens uh, when we talk about authentication. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, yeah, PINs and badges, uh, they'll, they'll come back in authentication. But the, the username uh, is actually what is being used for identification. Um, we should have guidelines 
uh, for how the usernames work. Very often uh, companies will standardize and you can see this when you're dealing with a company and look at the usernames, the, the email addresses uh, that uh, are part of there. That's, you know, the, the front part is generally speaking, that's the, the username. Um, make sure that the usernames are unique because of course if you don't uh, then you know that conflicts with the principles of identification uh, <laughs> make sure it's not shared now we do sometimes have this you know we'll have a pin an access pin will, or an access code uh, we'll share that but you know make sure that, that is not being used for identification uh, you know that you know as, as long as we're using it for a specific purpose okay we can have shared uh, entities but not if we're using it as identification um, have uh, shouldn't be descriptive of the function and yet you know the, the boss's secretary always has you know admin or, or some equally uh, problematic name in that regard so um, you know that that is not a great idea I know that it's used a lot uh, it's it's not terrific it, it can create problems there um, have a uh, secure documented procedure for issuing these uh, identities um, have uh, uh, you know it, this is this is access control management that we're talking about here and and we need to ensure that uh, that we, you know, that we validate the, the identity, um, that we uh, document and, and validate uh, the need for uh, the, the privileges that we assign. And we'll get into that in, in terms of the authorization. Uh, document the access rights. Regular review the access rights. What privileges we are uh, giving them and, and remove uh, the rights to that identity when we terminate that employee and, and when we terminate that account. Um, you know, all of this stuff is is hopefully standard and, and yet, um, well, as I, I mentioned in terms of the, uh, the admin account, um, you know, so often we, we fail to completely follow through. And, you know, uh, that always presents us with a problem at some point. So, um, as I say, not an awful lot to say about identification, and yet it's, it's central here. Um, we are going to talk more um, about identity management, authentication, authorization, accountability. Um, but remember that identity is at the center of all of it.